Tucked away in the rolling hills and dense forests of northwest Wisconsin is a landscape so beautiful you'd swear it was taken directly from a painting. But if you look close enough, there is a dark cloud lingering in the distance. A secret that these roads have held on to for far too long. A secret that has haunted Candace Hare in this community for ten long years. And it's just, it's horrible. It's hard to deal with. Very hard to deal with. And my life will never be normal without knowing where my daughter is. On August 21st, 2009, Rose Marie Bly left her residence in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin, believed to be en route to Cushing, just a short six-mile drive to the east. The 21-year-old mother of two never made it. Days later, Bly's 2001 Pontiac Grand Am was found in the village of Grantsburg, nearly 17 miles north of her house, with no explanation as to how it got there. No one has seen or heard from her since. There hasn't been a day that has gone by when Candace Hare hasn't wondered where her youngest daughter is, or if she's okay. With a missing child, it's, there's a hole in your heart that can't be filled. And it's just, it's an impossible journey every day to wake up and wonder where she is. Just trying to figure out where my daughter is. It's just, it's horrible. It's, it's not a good feeling. It's just, I wish I knew where she was. My name is Brent Walk, and I'm the Polk County Sheriff. When Rose Bly went missing, Brent Walk was a patrol sergeant with the Polk County Sheriff's Department. Now Sheriff, Walk and his office have made finding Bly a top priority. To date, the Sheriff's Department has investigated more than 200 tips and have interviewed more than 150 people. Still, the same question remains. Where is Rose Bly? Well, I sympathize with uh, the family of Rose because um, they want to know the answers, much like we do. And when these answers are, are, are largely um, unknown, that's very difficult to deal with when you, when you have to um, keep questioning what happened to Rose and, and where did she go. And certainly that is the solution we're looking for. We want to bring closure to this. Ten years, a decade, that's a lot of time. And you just look at what's changed in our lives and our careers yet alone this case is still out there, and you know, we would like to bring conclusion to it. Ten years. I tried to avoid this area. And I can't. It just draws me back. And I don't know why. Years of worry and wondering. A full decade Rose's children have had to spend without their mother. Someone knows something. Someone has the key. Everyone agrees it's time for this mystery to be solved. It's time for Rose to come home. Not sure which way, but she's out there somewhere. Not to cry, even just out here looking, it just brings tears to my eyes. Not knowing what, what actually really happened that day. Rosie, if you're out there, I still have the same number. Just, I want to bring her home. I'm Sarah Diamond. Officers spent a third day in the Beach Creek community searching for Summer Wells, but no significant results. An Amber Alert to find the missing six-year-old from Hawkins County remains active. And we're hearing more about what happened the day uh, from her, about that day from her grandmother. Here's Ansley Daniel. 
Josh and Sarah, as officers spent another day in Beach Creek searching for summer, I was out there yesterday and spent some time at the Wells family home on Ben Hill Road. Now, that's where Summer was reported missing from on June the 15th. I actually had the chance to speak with the missing girl's mother, Candace Bly, who again did not want to speak on camera with us, but I did have the opportunity to sit down with her grandmother, Candace Hare, who told me she wants people to hear about her family straight from the source. That's why I come on camera because I am sick and tired of the lies. Missing Hawkins County six year old Summer Wells grandmother Candace Hare says it was hard to speak on camera as she's been reliving a familiar nightmare. Rose has been missing for 12 years. I miss her dearly. She's the baby of the family. Hare's youngest daughter and Summer's aunt, Rosemarie Bly, went missing from Wisconsin on August 21st of 2009. To go through it again with my granddaughter Summer is very heartbreaking and that's what a lot of people don't understand is what a parent goes through what a grandmother goes through it's the not knowing is what tears us up it's the not knowing back in november her granddaughter's case received national attention on a two-part dr phil episode which is why Hare thinks her daughter Candace Bly has continued to shy away from the media. I think it had to do a lot with Dr. Phil. The way it came out on Dr. Phil when she was out there. I was not out there. I think it hurt Candace in a way. I don't know if it's helped or not. I don't believe it has. Maybe it's gotten more attention out everywhere on them. On June 15th, the day Summer was reported missing, Harris says she spent the entire day with her daughter and granddaughter. She says it started with a trip to the emergency room to have her knee checked out. They prescribed me medication to take to get the swelling down out of my knee and around my knee because it was inflamed. And then we waited around for my prescription. Summer went swimming that day at the horse stables, I believe it was. After the family returned home with groceries, Hare says she took a nap, woke up and repotted cactus plants with her granddaughter. She says Summer ate a peppermint, went inside the house to play with her brothers, and that was the last time she was seen. There was no sign of her. Authorities say all possibilities of what happened to Summer are still on the table. But like the rest of the Wells family, Summer's grandmother believes she was abducted. We never did find her. She called 911 and she called Donnie and we sent the boys down over the hill and I stood in front of the, over by the edge there and watched them. And, and was praying to God every minute that nobody would take them. For more than a decade, Hare has said the same prayer. I hope and I pray to God every day. Over the last almost nine months, along with her daughter Rose, her granddaughter Summer has now been added to her plea. That she's found and found alive. We have more of that first time interview along with a statement from Summer's mother, Candace Bly, and the interview with Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson that prompted it all right now on our website, WJHL.com.